Hey love, so today we are at the City Kitchen located in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we are here to highlight Gillespie Grill. So let's get it. Let's go see what they got. The City Kitchen is a co-op kitchen where you can find different cuisines and satisfy everyone's cravings. Even though they are a carry-out style restaurant, they have a nice open area for you to sit down and enjoy your order. Today we're at Gillespie's Grill. Please introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about your business. Hi, my name is Stacey Sims. And I'm Chef Dick Wood. And we are Gillespie's Grill. How long have y'all been in business? Legally or whatever. Kind of house, like, a lot of people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Our backstory is we started doing it back home. We're from um, um, Wilson, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We call it 252. Wild Way Wilson. That's us. We represent all day and we love it. Near Raleigh, right? Yeah, that's right. So, we started doing it at our church, our home church at home, First John United Home Church on Old Lake Creek Road. It's a small church, but it's a family-oriented church, so that's where we originated from. And we started doing the um, building for them, even though the church is grown a little bit, but we're still working on it. Y'all pray for us. So, my husband decided to volunteer to do the real for me. But nobody knew that he couldn't grill. Mm. I've never tasted no real food. So that night, he burned up all the food. <laughs> and I, I prayed, I cried. I was like, we got to do something different. We got to we gotta cancel this. And I was like, grandma, something ain't going to be right. And um, it was funny because the blessing came. We like to say it's the anointing in his hands. Because mm -hmm. he does do all the cooking. People I know how to cook. He did go to culinary school and graduate okay. from GTCC for that. Um, my grandmother, God bless her soul, we lost her. She was a major on her family um, in 2020. We lost her in 2020. She taught me how to cook and stuff. So I was born in it to cook, but he went and got the paperwork behind What is one piece of advice that you would give someone else that is starting up a business? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your heart is in it. Because mm -hmm. um, there's going to be times where you just completely want to give up. Yeah. I tell you, I quit every day. I quit twice a day. Every day. I'm late so, every day. Mm -hmm. You um, just got um, to be willing to go through um, the rough times. Mm -hmm. Because there's going to be some rough times. You're going to have some rough, rough times. Yeah. And I would say stay focused on yourself. Please don't compare yourself to anyone else. Um, have yourself a true covering, and sometimes you gotta let certain people go because they're not they're not meant to go with you on this journey at that time. And I would say make sure you got a, a, a need prayer rooms, prayer warriors, um, fix your credit, uh, get some business credit. Yeah. I would also advise you don't be afraid. You're gonna be afraid, but do it anyway because you would never know if you never tried. It may seem like it's hard. It's gonna be hard, I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's gonna be hard, but you never know that day or that time it could change just like that. What is the hardest part about being a business owner? I'm tired. <laughs> All right, it takes a lot, I'm tired. One thing, you have to learn how to separate business from pleasure. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, it will, it will run you down. And you can't wear your heart on your sleeve. Because some days gonna be good, some days gonna be bad. You just gonna have to learn how to differentiate. What is the most popular item on your menu? Uh oh, the menu. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> really, everything we put out there, it, it go. But I, I would say the fish and the wings. And the wings. Mm -hmm. um, Mac and cheese. Yeah. Sweet tea. <laughs> Look, everything. <laughs> what is your social media? How can people get in contact with you? How can they find you? You can contact us at GillespieGrill.com. All social media is Gillespie Grill, uh, IG, Facebook.
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey y'all. So I'm back. Glad to Let's get into it. Stacy and Chef Willie. If y'all in the Greensboro area, holla at them. Let me show y'all this fish though. You see that? Okay. <laughs> Looking real crispy, real juicy. brown sugar candy yams looking so like it it's looking like it I already know it's gonna be good you see this mac oh man but these wings though already know how I do with the fish. Got to put that hot sauce on there. The fish is so good. Crispy, juicy, flaky. Look at that. Mmm. I'm about to burn my mouth off over here, you know. Chef Willie, you doing your thing in the kitchen. Miss Stacy, y'all, they are the most humble people I know. Like, I love them to death. I can't even really, y'all, this fish is so hot. I can't even really eat it like I want it. <laughs> Shoot. All right, so we have the brown sugar yams. First time trying. Hot steaming. These yams are it. Mac and cheese. My food's so high I can't even talk. Keep coming back to that fish. The fish is A1, y'all. Hot garlic parm. Hot garlic parm. These wings are good. What I like about these wings is that they are extra crispy, very, very flavorful. Everybody can't make wings. You don't even need a little ranch or blue cheese or nothing with this. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll be back with another video. Stay tuned.